Hello YouTube, I'm Peter and welcome to my kitchen. Today I've got a really fun recipe. It's how to make these super cool cutaway sort of hidden design Pokeball biscuits. So I'll just get cracking on with the video. To make the gluten-free biscuits, you will need 200 grams of softened butter, 125 grams of caster sugar, 350 grams of gluten-free plain flour, 2 teaspoons of xanthan gum. You can find this in the free from section of most supermarkets. 1 egg and 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract. With an electric hand whisk, beat together the softened butter and sugar into light and pale. Then add all of the remaining ingredients and mix it into a stiff dough. Now split the dough for colouring. You need to keep back about half of the dough for plain, just under a quarter of the dough for black and just over a quarter of the dough for red. You really need some good quality black and red gel food colourings to colour the dough. Just mix through the colouring for each portion until you reach the colour that you desire. Now take out about two thirds of the black dough and roll it out as thin as you can between two sheets of greaseproof paper. Roll it into a rectangle about two and a half times as long as it is wide. Do the same for the remaining third of the black dough. Roll it out to the same length, but only about a third of the width this time. Set these aside and don't put them into the fridge. Now roll out the red and plain doughs. Keep these very thick, about one inch and put them in the fridge to firm up completely. Once the white dough has completely set, remove it from the fridge and cut out discs using a medium sized straight sided cutter. Mine was 6.5 centimeters. From these, cut out the centers using a smaller cutter. Mine was 2.5 centimeters in diameter. Reserve the centers and cut the larger rings in half. You will need to cut out twice the number of centers than you do of the larger rings. Using a very lightly beaten egg white, stick together the half circles into a long single line. Do the same with the smaller circles. The two lines should both be the same length. Now leave them in the fridge to firm up again. If the dough gets soft and difficult to work with at any point, just put it back into the fridge for a few minutes to firm up. Do the same with the red dough, except this time you need not retain the centers, you only need the outer ring. And just leave this in the fridge to set. Take out the central cylinder of white dough from the fridge and lay it on the small black rectangle. Trim down the black to the correct length. Then using the paper, roll the black around the white. Secure the roll with a little egg white and then put it back into the fridge to firm up. Take out the red and the central roll and insert the center into the red with a little egg white. With the scraps of the black dough, stick them along the flat side of the red. Now you just need to stick on the plain section of the dough. Give this a roll on the worktop to make it sure it's round. Now just put this back into the fridge to firm up. Now roll the cylinder in the larger rectangle of black dough, just as you did with the inner cylinder, using a little egg wash to secure it. If the black dough gets stuck at any point, just patch it up at the end. It's now ready to go back into the fridge for the final time. Take the dough out of the fridge, and using a very sharp knife, trim off the ends of the roll, and cut slices about half a centimeter thick. This will reveal the Pokeball design. Put the biscuits onto some non-stick baking paper and bake them in a preheated oven at 160 degrees Celsius, 320 degrees Fahrenheit fan for about 12 to 15 minutes until the plain dough just picks up a touch of colour. So that's how you make the biscuits. They're actually really easy to make and I think that they look awesome. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. I've put a recipe for these biscuits in the description below. 
and I've also put a link to my other videos, so please go and check them out. Thanks very much for watching guys, bye!